They qualified by topping a group featuring Zambia and Equatorial Guinea, who they always seem to come up against before winning a two-legged playoff against Mali in the most forgettable manner possible. 1-0 on aggregate, courtesy of an away win in the first leg. Whatever about the lack of excitement and ambition from them, Tunisia are still one of premier sides in Africa. They're the third highest ranked team in the continent, and are inside the world's top 30. In 1978, Tunisia became the first African nation to win a match at the World Cup, coming from a goal down to defeat Mexico in Rosario. Since that exhilarating debut, the Carthage Eagles have appeared in four more World Cups, but have only won one more match, their 2-1 triumph over Panama in the last edition in 2018. Coach Jalal Kadri has little by way of pedigree, having spent most of his managerial career bouncing around roles at lower levels of Arab football. However, since stepping in for Mondher Kabayer during the Africa Cup of Nations in January, he has done a serviceable job getting the team where they need to be. His preferred shape is not far removed from his predecessors. A 4-3-3 based on solidity through the middle of the pitch Kadri does appear to be weighing up the possibility of a 5-3-2, however. Tunisia are clean in their processes without being particularly incisive, but they defend their penalty area well and use their full backs well in build-up, pushing them high to provide width. Bundesliga-based midfielder Elise Skiri is central, both literally and figuratively, to all that Tunisia do. From his deep-lying midfield role, the 27-year-old dictates the play for the Carthage Eagles, often dropping between the centre-backs to facilitate build-up. Yusuf Masakni, imaginatively nicknamed, the Brazilian, is a player of considerable technical quality, and acts as the team's primary creative outlet coming infield from the left flank. At 32, he does not always start but having missed out due to injury in 2018, there is no doubt he will be extra motivated this time around. In a difficult group, his guile will certainly be needed if Tunisia are to make any sort of impression.